We're going to monitor their reactions over a six-week period. We want to find out whether any of our subjects are inadvertently over-medicating themselves. I now predict that by the end of the six-week experiment, they're going to be much better off than they were when they were popping pills. Um, her vitamin E was very elevated, and it's interesting because in the literature that, that vitamin may actually kill you, so she may be uh, shortening her life rather than extending her life by taking her vitamins. We don't know why people who take vitamins are at increased risk of death. Some may have low tolerance, others may overdose without realising it. One day we probably will know, but what we do know today is that vitamins can kill. They're the people that take good care of what they actually eat, and of course that is the ideal way to get nutrients, to get it from what you eat. And they're spending money on tablets when food tastes so much better. Finally, Professor Rod Jackson, epidemiologist at Auckland University, arrives to try and persuade our eight subjects not to go back on their pills. Can he convince them? We now believe that, that all of those healthy things that people who take vitamins do was covering up the harm of the vitamins. Moreover, these harmful effects are at least as bad as passive smoking. We've regulated against passive smoking. It's time to regulate vitamins. In my opinion, they should be prescription-only drugs. You're both doctors and you're both mm. anti-vitamins, so there's no one here who can be an advocate for vitamins. Right. So it's like having two people who are naysaying global warming and right. we're the public and we believe, but mm. we're not scientists, so... OK, uh, and, uh, you know, very good question, except it's false. And the, the false part of what you said is that we're anti-vitamin. Actually, neither of us are anti-vitamin. But what we do know today is that vitamins can kill. Actually, neither of us are anti-vitamin. The, the vitamins that you're taking are drugs, OK? If you take a vitamin in a pill form, it is a drug. It is a drug. And, and unless you get it from natural foods, it's a drug. And it should be treated like other drugs. And we have a saying in medicine that all drugs cause harm. Some drugs also produce benefit.